West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee led Trinamool Congress on Wednesday, that is April 17, release its manifesto, just two days before the first phase of election begins. While releasing the manifesto, the TMC said, and I quote, Let's overthrow the BJP Zamindars and pave the way for dignified life for all. The party, in its manifesto, promised to repeal the Citizenship Amendment Act and stop National Register for Citizens, that is NRC. Hello and welcome, this is Akanksha and you're watching HW News English. The manifesto describes the CAA as botched up law that will repeal while the NRC will be completely stopped. Trinamool leaders have asserted that these moves will be undertaken once the party is a part of ruling coalition at the national level. Even though there is no alliance between the Trinamool Congress and India bloc in West Bengal, let's discuss what TMC offers in its manifesto. All the graduates and diploma holders up to 25 years will be provided one-year apprenticeship with monthly stipend. Student credit cards of up to Rs 10 lakh will be provided for higher education. Number of higher education scholarship for SCs, STs and OBC students will be tripled. Current old age pension for individuals aged 60 and above will be increased to 1000 per month. The cost of petrol, diesel and LPG cylinders will be capped to ensure affordability. A price stabilization fund will be established to manage fluctuations in prices. As per the Swaminathan Commission's recommendation, MSP will be legally guaranteed for India's farmer, set at minimum per 50% than average cost of production for all the crops. Every ration card holder will be receiving 5 kg of free ration per month. The ration will be delivered free of cost to the doorstep of every beneficiary. Every BPL family will receive 10 LPG cylinders free of cost per year, providing access to clean cooking fuel. 100 days of guaranteed work will be provided to all job card holders and to all workers will receive minimum wage of Rs 400 per day. Every poor family across the country will be assured of dignificant housing, ensuring safe and secure homes for everyone. Welfare schemes like Kanya Shri for girls across the country. The manifesto will be released in six languages, including Nepali and Santali, catering to the West Bengal's diverse linguistic landscape. Addressing an election rally in Assam, where Trinamool is contesting, Mamta Banerjee lashed out of BJP, accusing them of turning the entire country into a detention camp. She wrote that if India lands comes to power, the CAA and NRC will be scrapped, arguing that there would be no democracy or fair elections if Prime Minister Narendra Modi returns for a third term. The Trinamool's ambitious manifesto reflects the party's efforts to position itself as a crucial player in the national political landscape. The promised welfare measures and firm stand against the CAA and NRC will likely resonate with a significant section of electorate, setting a stage for a high-stakes battle in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The 2024 general elections in West Bengal will be held in seven phases, that is, from 19th April to 1st June to elect the 42 members of the 18th Lok Sabha, with the results declared on 4th June. That's all for this news report. Till then, keep watching HW News English and download our app HW News Shorts for the latest news and updates. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shorts in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.